two or, th or three or four mortars. Oh man, just like one volley, a hunt dies. Oh, that's that's fun to watch. Yeah, he could probably have done that, but instead he's just keeping it up. Uh, once you hit four or three, I don't. I wouldn't recommend creeping too much more here. Uh, I don't think that it's very worthwhile because first off, three heroes will split um, three ways, so your experience getting per camp is going to be very low, and then also. Uh, level 4 for Fire Lord does basically nothing. Level 5 for Archmage is good, but he's he's the highest level hero, so it's going to be hard for him to level. So I would just go ahead and push. Um, yeah, basically. Alright, so here we have a battle. Knights, knights out front, uh, you want all your range out back. And OC is going to just push, he's going to push past with all his hunts and try and flank the mortars, but uh, Kling is going to use his uh, Pal Laudan to uh, heal that mortar team. And he's going to go ahead and staff it out. Whenever a unit is like you're not sure if it's gonna die or not, staff it out immediately, because I'd ra it's better to staff and save a unit, and maybe not you know get as much out of that unit in the battle, but to always save that unit than it is to to risk to risk losing it. Anyway, so Panda hits level five, um, level five breath level three breath of fire is pretty much GG if you don't have night mortar, uh, because basically all your units die. Um, actually, when I, when I use a little panda, it's pretty fun to watch. Like, you go up to like the casters and you use like Dragon Haze and Breath of Fire, and like they basically all die. Like, and if they don't die, they have like 10, 20 HP left, and you just go back and you do one more Breath of Fire on all of them, and they all die. Oh, that's so fun to watch. That's so awesome. Anyway, so, so he's gonna expand now and push. Whenever you push your punt back, he's gonna expand. But again. He's got two mortars, but you know, three or four mortars here with with more knights, and he could really just push here in the game and be over. Here was a pretty stupid battle. Uh, he he didn't let his mortars get out back, so he's kind of got them in the middle of his army. So he has really bad positioning, and level three about the fire is just pretty much owning up. Um, and it, smartly he decides to TP out here. Um, th this battle really couldn't have gone positively with the kind of positioning he had. Um, it allowed all the hunts to get in there and. He just basically was flying, so it's pretty stupid overall. But alright, if you get into a bad battle situation, it's not over. You just gotta TP out, heal up, and go back. Go back at it. If you're human and you win one battle, you should be able to win the game just from an expo. Because you can expand before they can regroup enough to uh, to attack you. Expo and push, and if they survive the push, you have an expo. And if they don't survive the push, then you win. So, pretty much, pretty much GG either way there. Yep. Anyway, so now he's just healing stuff with staff. That's a pretty good way to get some free healing. Uh, you just staff and switch. Staff and switch. Panda's level 5, and once Panda's level 6, it becomes extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. Because level 6 Panda, you can focus it. It'll do Breath of Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, and then split itself up. So. First off, massive damage done to your army. Second off, any focus firing you did is completely wasted. And third off, now you have these three pandas basically ripping your army to shreds, and they're like, what, 5,000 HP all put together, or something like that, maybe 6,000? Not exactly, sir. I'm sure someone will give me the exact HP. is not enough. In fact, whoever is the first person to give me the exact HP of the three panda elementals combined, whoever is the first one to send me that, We'll get a shout out in my next audio. So remember, how the total HP of all of the elementals combined. Send that to me, and in the next audio, you will get a shout out at the start of the audio. Alrighty. So I hope that works well. Hope you guys all send send out. Yeah. Anyway, Snipe's gonna creep up uh, a little bit more, and again, really at this point, he should just push. Uh, he's got 54 food. Oh, he's got 48. Uh, OC has hit tier 2, but he's uh, declined for any uh, tier 2 buildings. Which kind of makes you wonder why the whole why he even went tier 2 in the first place if you're not going to get a tier 2 building. Um, yeah. So here, is a, it's pretty much a good game battle because you have these high HP knights in the, uh, up front. You've got th these high damage mortars in the back. You've got summons clearing it away. you got Fire Lord um, with that passive that's... Uh, when it hits, it explodes, and that's doing damage as well. 
Um, it's pretty much GG here. Uh, he saves the Paladin in the last second, and he hands the staff off to the Archmage. And again, he should have immediately staffed the Paladin, but instead he waits and he dies to a birth of fire, so it was kind of, kind of a stupid idea for him. Um, however, at this point, it is, uh, far from mattering. Uh, Panda, level 5 still. He doesn't have much of an army. It really, really isn't much, much OC can do at this point. Oh, and it's pretty funny. After I talked to OC, um, uh, he's like, uh, he, he, he said to me, so, uh, n nice job getting, getting a pro Europe player to, uh, play for, uh, your clan. And I said, oh, oh, Rafflecopter, why you say that? And he's like, come on, I can beat Sonki, I can beat Nilknarf, I can beat all these people, but I lose to Panada? Come on. You should be kicked out of the league. So yeah, you know, pro Europe players that build two blacksmiths, that is, uh, that is pretty much the way to go. Um, I know all, all of the pro Europe players that I watch, you know, 4K, 4K Todd, and, um, yeah, pretty much, they, they all, they all make two blacksmiths, uh, StarCraft style. So, it was a pretty rawful excuse. Um, and then game one he lost, he, he said that it was because he wasn't, he wasn't used to playing good people, and he doesn't remember Panada being that good, I don't even remember, it, it, OC is is a funny person to play against because whenever you lose, you didn't even know it, but you're like you're like 300 losses to one win against him, and like he just told you and you never even knew. So that's pretty funny. Anyway, now he has inner fire on his priest, so that is really good game because now he has way higher defense, and um, the mortar team's damage is up. Oh man, it's just inner fire is a really great spell. It's really under under utilized against against uh. Elf and uh, I don't even say Orc, but Orc's a bit of a different ball game because Orcs are just so good you can just stick with that. But uh, at this point for OC, it really isn't. Uh, now he's putting up his Ancients of Lore um, at the 20 minute and 30 second mark. So yeah, that's a little too late. It's just a little too late. And at this point with a level two, almost a Paladin, level five Archmage, level four Fire Lord, um, it's not possible for OC to really win this. He's just basically running away with his hunts. Um, that's basically all that's up to this game. So yeah, now that I think the, pan the uh, Panda, <laughs> the Panda dies. Oh no, TV's out. Anyway, so it's, it's pretty much just, just a solid counter. Uh, make sure you get your towers up before tier 2. Uh, make sure you don't get any rifles. Make sure you tech tier 3 ASAP and you get your workshop up before you hit tier 3. Uh, that way, you're—I mean—you're gonna have a pretty small army until you get your uh, knight, your knight priest mortar. But it, it's definitely worth it because once you get there, there's no way he can win. So as long as you get your towers up, you're pretty much fine. And uh, OC realizes here there's no way he can win. He's got like one dryad and some hunts. Um, yeah, pretty much. He's OC. Uh, yeah. So well, whoever you are playing for Panda, GG because his skill doesn't jump from noob to pro that fast. GG. So, yeah, there you go. Pros that make two blacksmiths. That's uh, that's pretty much awesome. Anyway, so it was a good game by Kling. Um, a typical game from OC. Uh, massing the hunts, basically. So that's pretty much uh, how you're gonna beat those elves, human players. You gotta. Yeah, I use that strategy. It's uh, the anti anti panda mass hunt strategy, and to a certain degree, it works against panda bear dryad. But it's a little bit different against that, um, because because then you have like a rejuve and you have you have like a, an actual army, you know, instead of just massing uh, massing hunts. So yeah, uh, that's basically it. It's been a great audio, you guys. This is T Rider uh, signing out. I hope you guys have a great day.